if you catch me wearing these the same boots, mind your business. Hi, welcome to today's video. I'm super excited looking at all the bits I have in front of me to show you. It's spring, summer. The sun is coming out here in the UK. I mean, I've got the neon on. I decided to treat myself and if you want to see what I picked up, then let's go. So I bought a couple of shoes to match a couple of the bags. So we'll start with those and then we'll go through the other bits after that. That's fresh shoe smell. So the first pair of shoes are from Ego. They were actually having a site-wide 50% um, off everything. Um, so they were 19 99 instead of, like, well, you know, 39 99 Hold a breath. I'm in love with these, with the flat at the front, the flat, the square toe at the front is what I meant to say, the strappy, I just think these are so cute with the baby blue crop print. All I can say is stunning, these are so beautiful, and they, they sound really weird, but they smell, they smell so good, <laughs> they just smell like, they just smell like these have just been finished being made, you know? Like, you know, almost like new car smell. That's the vibe that this fresh, I don't know, that sounds really weird. But anyway, this baby blue, the crop print, I'm in love with these. I feel like they're a good enough height that it's like, I'm wearing a heel, baby. Like, they're not too high that it's like, oh, I'm, I'm wearing a heel, you know, way about to fall over. I just, everything about this is seriously stunning. They had this in a couple colours. I thought I'd order one and then see how I feel. I did briefly put these on and can't lie, I thought I was that girl, you know? So it was, I am that girl, first of all, but these had me really feeling. <laughs> I just cannot sing their praises enough. The quality of this is, I just mean, it's stunning. There's nothing out of place. I just am really, really impressed for only 20 pounds that these are stunning. And I just bought the bag today. I was looking at it online and I happened to go into Zara today. So I picked it up instead. And I thought they were going to be more similar colours, but they're not. Oops. This is the Zara bag. This was 19.95 according to the label. And I picked this up today. And I was hoping they were going to be the exact same colour. They're not. This is slightly like dustier. It's still stunning, but I was hoping they were going to match, but I should have brought these with me, really, and then I could have compared it. But this bag is still stunning. I think I'm going to keep it anyway. <laughs> and this fabric, it's not even like a real fabric. It's almost like a plastic fabric, but it's not plastic. I don't know how to describe it. Like We've got two compartments. You've got this front one in there, and then the same at the back with more padding in it. <laughs> And it also came with this um, strap, so you can attach it from here to that side and have it like a shoulder bag, but you can also take it off. Oh, I've just seen there's a little scratch on it. I didn't see that when I picked it up, I've just noticed it now. Maybe I'll see if I can swap it for a different one. But the actual detailing of this, like obviously ignoring that little patch, the actual detailing of this bag, I just think is stunning. It feels really nice. And I feel with all Zara bags, to be honest, they just feel really good quality. They don't feel like they're going to break after using them two or three times. And I'm excited for this. I'm going to see if I can swap it just for one that doesn't have a little scratch on it. Um, but no, I am excited for this. Even if I can't wear it with the shoes. I still could wear it with the shoes, but I was hoping they were going to sort of be a perfect match. But I obviously forgot that these were quite a bright baby blue, whereas these are more of a muted baby blue. They're still cute though. I just I just love that little button. I just think it's so sweet. Oh, a little button. So the next sort of pair of shoes I bought and a matching bag are, these are a little bit fancier, a little bit classy. I'll start with the shoes because I had my hours on these for so long. These, these weren't too bad actually. These I think were 32. They're from Simi. Simi London, apologies, and I'm in love, okay, I'm in love, I mean, these are just 
the most beautiful squared at the toe again, just like the blue ones. They're such a nice deep neutral brown. Oh, I, I am in love. These are slightly higher and they're a little bit like saucier. I seriously when I tell you I've been looking at these and I was like, I don't need them, I don't need them, I don't need them. Anyway, I changed my mind, okay? I need them. We're all allowed to change our minds, okay? Especially when you need them. These are so cute. They've got the ruffled sort of straps, one across toe, one across kind of the middle of your foot. These are stunning. These are so stunning. I adore them so, so much. Every time I see these, I just think, oh, I need a place to wear you. Because everything's only just opened up in the last like a week, isn't it? So haven't really had a chance to put these bad boys to the test but I can't wait to wear these again same as I said with the ego shoes the quality on these like I said I haven't worn either of them but the quality on these just looking at them is stunning that everything looks perfect these yeah these aren't quite this it's not quite as strong but these still have that um, brand new shoe smell but anyway these are the brown shoes brown is my color at the moment this is, I just did these yesterday, this is the Nails Ink, I think it's called Hawaiian Beach um, nail polish, and it's stunning, I love it, this this brown colour is probably my favourite at the moment, I feel like it's everywhere, and yeah, it, when I say favourite, I mean pink is always my reigning favourite colour, obviously, but I mean like, my favourite at the moment, not my favourite ever, you know, but brown, brown and um, neon green, are really doing it for me they are they really are and that big blue i just feel like neon and pastel colors are so summery and spring and you know spring is sprung baby the sun is shining i need some more pastels in my life i do the shoes that i bought are these and the bag obviously it's these i meant to say the bag that i bought to match these shoes wait for it so this is the most expensive item i bought this is the steffi crop bag from guess this is the smaller version. They also have a bigger version, but the bigger version looked too big for the kind of size I wanted. This is stunning. When I tell you, when this came, I don't buy a lot of expensive items. I have kind of my makeup and I spend all my money on my makeup, but I don't actually buy sort of bags or shoes or clothes. None of my clothes and bags None of them are that expensive. So this is probably the most expensive bag I have. Not probably, this is definitely a thousand percent the most expensive bag I have. So it took me a little while to kind of say, yeah, I'm gonna buy it because, you know, I did not need a bag that was 109 pounds. However, look at this, I needed this bag and I refuse to be told otherwise. I bought everything here in the last kind of two weeks-ish um, and it's just, or, you know arrived staggered and then the bag I bought today um so I haven't had a chance to wear anything here out for real and I cannot wait because this bag oh I love it so much it's got this short handle but it also comes with a um, bigger handle and this has like two poppers under there also comes with this long oh almost dropped it also comes with this longer strap I quite like oh it's very long actually wow I didn't realize how long it was I kind of like it the strap that it has and what I thought was so cool that I've never seen before I'm you know maybe other people have done it before but I've personally never seen it done ever is this buckle is not fake this buckle you can change it to there's four different sizes so you can make this handle kind of as big or small as you wanted and if you had you know something to make a hole you could customize it to whatever size you wanted and just move move the buckle along. I thought that was so cool. There's a couple pouches in there as well as the zippy bit. I don't know how I can show you while making it look pretty. I'm not sure that I can do both at the same time. But this is... I saw this on the website. And I was like, I can't. It's, a, it's, almost, it's basically £110. I, I can't buy it. And then it was staring me down for weeks. I've looked at this bag for weeks and I bought the shoes. And then that was my mistake because I then thought, well, I need a bag to match the shoes. <laughs> so here I am with the bag. This was a real treat for me. Um, and I was not disappointed. I now feel like I need every color that they have. They have like a cobalt blue. Oh, it's stunning. 
I don't need it. I don't need it and I won't buy it. But I'm very tempted. I am so very tempted. I am so very, very tempted. I feel like this whole video is just going to be me justifying to myself why I bought these items. So the next item is this bag from Ego. It is teeny. It's got this teeny little strap. I just love it. I absolutely love it. And again, I think in the sale, this cost me about £9 or £10. So this was really quite cheap. I think this is the cheapest item I've got. It's very simple, very small. Um, what am I going to fit in here? Um, my lip gloss, my eyelash glue and my bank card. And I'll hold my phone. Is it practical? No. Am I going to get the stuff I need in it? No. Am I wearing a bag like this to be practical? Absolutely not. I'm wearing a bag like this because I am that girl. I'm going to be like, yeah, you see me, my little baggy? You see me? That's going to be me. It's going to be like, yeah, and that's me. Do you see what I got going on? We all know there isn't anything in this bag. I'm just wearing it because I look pretty. I've only got this because I think I'm going to look really cool. Let's be real. I'm going to look sick. I'm going to look so good with this little baggy with my outfit my little baggie with nothing in it apart from a lip gloss. If I've got something to hold, then my babes can hold it for me because I'm clearly busy, you know? So the bar at the end, when you're, you know, holding the bag, it keeps it in there. But if you do it at a certain angle, you can feed, I'll just see if I can do it. You just feed the bar through, yeah, and it just comes off. So you can have it strapless. So this is how I would wear it personally. So you can just see the little bits here, but it's so teeny, no one's going to see it. I feel like lots of people are kind of over the mini bag trend, but I am not. So here she is in all of her glory. Like I said, I will try and link everything down below in case anybody is interested. Um, this video isn't sponsored in any way, shape or form. No one bought these for me. They weren't gifted. I bought these with my own money. Um, if anyone wanted to give them to me, uh, yeah, I've got a whole wish list. <laughs> But I really like this. It's very simple, pretty cheap to be honest. But um, I think she's very cute. And I'm very excited to wear her. So I just need a reason to wear her. Anybody wants to have a dinner, tell me I'm there so I can bring my little bag with nothing in it, just my bank card. <laughs> and I'll hold my phone in my hand. <laughs> so the next item I have is this black cropped print bag. And it just, again, has like a little popper. This is from Pretty Little Thing, and it just has this kind of like chain, but it's not metal. It's like a sort of plasticky acrylic. That makes it sound really rubbish. But I just really like it because the whole thing is just really black, but not like a soft black. It's just pure black black, if that makes sense. And also, I feel like with a lot of smaller black bags, um, the chains are gold. And I don't mind a little bit of gold here and there, like if there was like a little buckle that was gold, you know, fine. But I don't like, and it's again, it's just personal opinion because I like silver. I don't like when the whole strap is gold. So when I saw this with the black strap, I just thought it was really cool. And the strap is big enough that you could put it over your shoulder, like with enough room. Like it just sits there really comfortably. You can't see because of the camera angle, but it just sits really comfortably. I wasn't expecting to like it. I've never ordered a bag from Pretty Little Thing before, so I had no idea what to expect. But I am pleasantly surprised. I can't remember how much it is, so I'll put it here somewhere. But yeah, I really like it. I just think there's not a lot to say about it, really. It's just black, a staple with a black um, handle instead of, you know, like a silver or a gold one. I just really like it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> So we are down to the last two items. There's a pair of shoes and there's a bag. And I bought the bag to match the shoes that I had bought. Uh, however, the bag is nowhere near the right colour at all. I'll just show you the bag now because I want to end on a high. So I don't want to end on, oh, but the bag's not the right colour. I do think I'm going to send this back. I'm not sure because I still like it, but it wasn't the colour I was expecting. So this is the bag where it's been um, folded like that. It kind of is staying like that. So you might have to... Can you iron this material? I don't know. I'd probably iron it. I don't know if you're supposed to. But it's a very cute little baggie. It's very sweet. I think it also came in lilac. And the lilac look stunning. This said that it was neon green. I would say that this is, yeah, this is neon green. This is like lime yellow, you know? This buckle is actually fake. It's just a popper. 
and it doesn't actually like close it's just all open here which isn't a huge deal but I think I would prefer to have a bag that zips up knowing me I'd fall over or I would I don't know what turn around too quick and something would just fling out I just know it so I don't know how practical that is for me personally and also it's just not the color I thought it was going to be um I thought it was going to be more like this color but it's this color but because I had only bought it because I thought it was going to be this color now I'm like mm, do I need it especially seeing as I bought everything else <laughs> maybe I'll keep it I don't know the thing is I don't need it but I have it now so it'd be more effort to return it do you see the issue I don't know we'll see but let's move on to the final item I have which are a beautiful beautiful pair of shoes I can't wait for you to see them I don't think you're ready because these are from public desire on I think I bought them through ASOS these are the most gorgeous pair of shoes I've ever seen in my life it has this little chain that you would put around your ankle which looks really really cute you can also this is how I've been doing it. When I say I've been doing it, I mean this is how I've been trying them on in my room. <laughs> I've been taking this off because you can see there's just a little thingy here that you put it through. So when you take it off, they still fit and they still look really good. This sort of strap is more for decoration. It's more for the look to tie the gold in with the gold pointed front and the gold heel. Whereas you don't actually need this for the shoe to stay on. Like with the this green bit at the ankle and this bit across the toes, it stays on pretty, pretty well. Or it has, again, I've only tried them on in my room. But these are so stunning. These are so stunning. I feel like, especially with the shoes, I really just lucked out. I've not got any complaints with any of the shoes. They've all come perfectly, just as described, just as stunning, if not more stunning. These, these are so sexy to me and I don't even know why. This, like I said, this green colour is doing it for me. Look at it messes my top. This green colour is doing it for me. It's doing it for me. It is doing it for me. Do you hear me? This? They've got this in so many colours. And they have it in like a neon pink. I'm not saying I'm going to get it. I'm just saying one of us should. And if it's not going to be you, then I don't mind saying one's going to be you. Public Desire really did something with these because they made me like gold. I kept the gold on and I still liked it. That's how much I like it. So Public Desire, Public Desire, you've killed it. You've absolutely annihilated the game. These are unreal. There are so many shoes on Ego Simi and Public Desire's website that will call in my names, but you know, girls not being money. I can't just buy everything. I wish I could, but girls not made of money, baby. So I tried to pick the ones that I was most excited for. I would just mention that heel is quite high. So again, I've only tried on these pairs of shoes in my room, but because this is a little bit higher than the others, it makes it a teeny bit harder to kind of like walk in, but feel balanced, <laughs> feel like you're not about to fall over. But honestly, even if I fell over, I don't care because it means my feet would be in the air. Everyone can see the shoes. But this is the other shoe and I've taken the chain off. These are stunning. But anyway, that is everything that I bought. I am so happy with everything, especially the shoes. The shoes are really doing it for me. They were the girls today. I am so, 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 so happy with these. I just think all of the shoes are stunning and I cannot wait to wear them out. I will try and link these, um, not just these, these are just the ones I have in front of me. I will try and link everything down below in case there was anything you wanted and it will save you having to search for it but yeah that's the end of today's video i really hope you enjoyed it i've had the best time buying all of these things and i've just been in lockdown for a year so if i want to buy some neon green shoes to you know strut around in have everyone being like who does she think she is <laughs> that's what i want to do okay <laughs> but anyway thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and, you know, if you did, please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.